That beautiful moon that lights up the night sky, what if it suddenly took off and came straight toward Earth? There's an inseparable bond between the Earth and the moon. It's called a tidal interaction. Just like Earth exerts a force on the moon, the moon also exerts a force on Earth. But the force Earth exerts on the moon is slightly stronger. That's why the moon always shows only one face to the Earth. This is called tidal locking. Now, if you're wondering whether this tidal force can break the moon apart, well, normally the moon's gravity is strong enough to hold itself together. But, if the moon keeps getting closer and closer to the Earth, the tidal force that tries to stretch the moon becomes stronger than its own gravity. At a certain point, the tidal force completely overtakes the moon's gravity and starts tearing it apart. This limit is called the Roche limit, named after a scientist named Edouard Roche. So if the moon ever crosses Earth's Roche limit, then, well, before it even crashes into Earth, it would get shattered into tiny pieces from the tidal forces. Those fragments would start orbiting the Earth, forming a ring around our planet. Simply put, just like Saturn has a ring, Earth would also get a beautiful ring. But, we won't have the moon anymore to admire. That same concept is how Saturn's rings are believed to have formed, one of its moons got too close and crossed the Roche limit. And it's not just a theory, we've actually seen it happen. The Shoemaker-Levy 9 comet once passed too close to Jupiter and crossed Jupiter's Roche limit. It got torn apart into 21 fragments. We recorded and documented the whole event. So now, let me ask you. Would you rather have the moon? Or the rings?